Good evening, Internet. Good evening, Mastering Vast users and Sonic Matter users. This is Poser P. I'm back again with a very quick demo. What I want to show to you today is how to use the BCR2000 to get a much finer level of control over certain uh, PC3 parameters. Now, on the PC3, you have two modulation sources for each adjustable parameter in a vast DSP block. So for instance, pitch, uh, you have source 1 and source 2. And the range of a pitch uh, might be 9,600 cents, it might be 10,200 cents. You can set it to uh, whatever. And usually, you only have 128 MIDI values that you can use if you assign, say, like a slider from the front panel of the PC3 to control that value. Uh, it's limited to 128 MIDI values. So, for instance, if you're using uh, anything over 1,200 cents uh, as the depth of uh, the, that particular control source, then when you move the slider, because it's over 1,200 cents, each step is going to be at least one cent or more uh, that you move the slider. So what I've done um, is I've used some of the special features of the BCR2000 to essentially control both Source 1 and Source 2 at the same time. Uh, and, and how we do this is we take a 14-bit MIDI value. So a 14-bit MIDI value, uh, that's just 14 ones and zeros. And that number can go up to uh, 16,383. Uh, so what we do is we take that 14-bit value and we split it into two parts, the lower order bits and the higher order bits. So the first seven bits are what we call the lower order bits, and those control fine pitch, uh, which is going to be all those values that would be in between uh, what we'd normally have if we were just using 128 MIDI values to control uh, a parameter. Then what we also have is the higher order bits, and those higher order bits are assigned to do uh, control coarse pitch. And so working together then, we have much finer level of control with a single knob than we would otherwise. Now you could, you could split, you could have a, one knob be coarse and one knob be fine uh, if you wanted to do it that way. This way I think it's just, it's a, it's a bit more convenient uh, and it's more like uh, programming with NRPNs, uh, say for instance on some of the lease synths, they allow you to do that. Anyway, to demonstrate uh, what it sounds like, I'm just going to play some notes here. So this is a very simple program that I've created. I've got pitch for square wave, pitch for saw wave. Those two go through a special DSP block called shaper, and this knob controls shaper depth, and then this knob controls filter frequency cutoff. And all of these knobs are high resolution, so they um, have 16,384 values over which uh, uh, to use when controlling these parameters. So for instance, uh, in the case of square wave, here's C4. Now I'm going to tune it up. And you can see I can go very fine, or I can go very quickly. So we'll put this at 4096, or 4092, excuse me. Uh, no, 4096. There we go. So, uh, as you saw when I was spinning the knob, uh, one of the nice things about the uh, BCR is if you turn, you can, you can adjust the ballistics. So if I turn the knob very quickly, for instance, here's, um, let me mix in this, the saw wave. Okay, now I'm going to adjust the shaper, now I'm going to give it a quick twist or two. See, I'm already up at 16,383, and that was only with a couple of twists. That's it all the way down. So that's one of the nice other nice things about the BCRs. Uh, we have a, a huge range of values, but we also have very fine level of control. So for instance, in this case, So that's it. That concludes this demo, and I will be back with more soon. Thank you for watching.